Hey everyone, welcome back to Project X Talk. Today we're doing something a little different. We have an exclusive interview with Carson, the studio head of Firewater Arts Day. First off, I want to thank you for taking your time off and coming with us today. For those who don't know you, or could you just give them a brief rundown of who you are and what Firewater Arts is? Well, um, Biowater Arts is an independent uh, video game studio here in the USA. Um, this is my first game project that I am working on. Um, it is a one-man studio, just myself. Um, and yeah, this is uh, pretty cool to be on an interview like this. And hopefully um, everybody enjoys the show as we progress. All right, so let's get into the questions. So the first question I have with you for, for you today is, you recently announced your game, Uprising, a game coming to Xbox Series X and PC, with a small teaser trailer. Can you share more about the title? What type of game is it? Well, Uprising is a third-person action, action adventure game. Um, I don't want to give too much detail yet about the setting, but it is a third-person action adventure game. Um, hmm. Well, yeah, it's a it's a third person action adventure game. I'll be sharing more details like on the setting and stuff like that in the near future. Yeah, sounds good. So, what was the inspiration for Uprising? What inspired you to create this game? Well, the inspiration for Uprising was many games I played over the years. Keep in mind, I am a PlayStation guy at heart, but it's an, an honor to be here on the Xbox podcast. But um, the games that inspire this game are the Last of Us franchise and the Uncharted franchise for, like, the game worlds and environments on how gritty um, those games could get sometimes. Well, that can also give you the setting of where my game is going. But um, And another game that inspired me to bring this idea to life was the Dead Space franchise for its awesome characters and in-game sound design. Because I don't know if you played the Dead Space games like on the 360 or or the Series X or the One, but those games are, the sound design is, it makes your shivers timber, man. It's pretty good. And that sound design is something special. But I'm happy to create a game for the Xbox community, and hopefully I can bring it to <laughs> the... Well, I'm not going to share that detail yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, Dead Space is one of my favorite gaming franchises of all time. I'm lucky to see it that it won't be continuing anymore. Um, also, Uncharted. I'm a big fan of Uncharted as well. I I, might, I play on Xbox primarily, but I also do own PlayStation consoles. I have old PlayStation consoles back before in the past as well. So, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to Uprising. Um, I like how you... Take, uh, how you've taken inspiration from Uncharted, Last of Us, and Dead Space, some of my favorite games of all time. So, um, would you would you like to uh, Uprising the game come to Xbox Game Pass in the future? As of right now, there are no plans to add Uprising to the Game Pass library because there's a chance that Uprising may go to other console families. And platforms in the near future. I just I want to break the exclusive barrier, and I want everybody to experience it. But Xbox has been easy to work with because they have a program. I believe it's the Xbox Creators Program, where anybody could have a chance to release a game with them. But you gotta make sure you're in you're you're in, you're in a good development phase, and you can present a game to them sometime within 18 to 24 months. But um, Game Pass, it's it's a possibility, but as of right now, there are no plans to release the game on Game Pass, either as the launch title or later down the road. But I love the Game Pass subscription. It's, it's obviously the best deal in gaming. It really is. AAA games are in there, like um, State of Decay. I believe Dead Island's in there. Uh, the whole Gears of War library, which that's impressive. Halo. And yeah, but I see the value in Game Pass. I'll keep that in mind for the future. So, yeah, 
I do agree with you there. Game Pass is one of the best deals in gaming right now. They have tons of AAA games, AA games, and some indie games, which you probably would have would have never bought. Uh, but now with Game Pass subscription, you can at least try them out. That gives you know developers uh, that gives more you know more people can play the game than developers expected well, people to. So I wanted to ask you, what is the goal for your studio? Where do you see Biowater Arts in a few years down the line? It's always good to look ahead in the future for like these type of things, but it's also very good to stay in the present. While the future is always in the back of my mind for this, um, where I would like my studio to be in the next few years, well, I hope within the next couple of years to have Alexa stop. Sorry, I got that uh, Amazon <laughs> Echo thing going nuts. Um, hopefully within the next few years, I can... um. Hmm. hopefully to have uprising out to the public and my second project which is talking dogs game which is um i'll talk about that another day because i'll be sharing more on that in february but um the goals are to have at least one to two games out within the next four to eight years max and hopefully some other things as well can release alongside those in the near future but the goal is Enjoy the ride. Enjoy it. Yeah. Um, so uh, an extension to that question, I wanted to ask you if you ever see yourself expanding the studio instead of just being a one-man developer. Do you see adding more members to the team later down the line? Later down the line, I would like to maybe add one or another guy or two, maybe three down the line in the future. But right now, it's just me, me running the camp and stuff. I'm fine with that. I mean, hey, bringing people on is a good idea and all, but there's some behind-the-scenes stuff you got to lock on first. Yes, I do agree with you there. So um, on to our final question. If given the chance, what video game franchise would you like to work with in the future? Well, coming from PlayStation, a PlayStation guy since 06, um, I would love to work on maybe a Naughty Dog game. Just to see how, man, those things look like movies. It's 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 amazing. I would like to work on a sci-fi IP with them in the near future because they're probably one of the best in the business. Definitely. Even though their games are once a generation, like, um, huh? I'm trying to think of an Xbox studio who who releases like one game a generation. Um, I would say Halo, but uh, I don't know. I think they release every couple of years, right? Four years? Yeah, around, yeah, every four to five years. Yeah. Yeah, it's like once a console generation, like seven, mm -hmm. eight years, maybe two. But yeah, I would love to work with Naughty Dog one day on a game. Naughty Dog is a great studio. They, uh, they made amazing games and recently Game of the Year winner, Last of Us Part Two, which um, I. It was a good game, gameplay-wise, but the story uh, I wasn't a big fan of. I really enjoyed the first Last of Us game and Unchar all the Uncharted games. Uh, those are one of some of my favorite games of all time. Um, an extension to that question as well. Um, what movie what movie franchise would you like to create into a game if you had the chance? Hmm. Can it be movie and television or just movies? Yeah, movie and television. Movie and television. Well, for television, there is this one show on the CW network. It's called The 100. It's oh, one of the best shows yes. I've watched. The 100. And it's my favorite TV show as well. The final season and, um, just started a few months ago, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it just ended, sadly. Yeah. But there is a prequel that's going to come yeah. with it. But if that's – I did ask the author of the books if I can get her blessing to bring, bring a prototype to life. She liked mm -hmm. my tweet, so that made – that may mean something, but I don't know. But that game, um, that uh, television show, I believe, should have its own video game medium. I th it'll probably be better than The Last of Us, if not bigger. Oh, definitely. 100 like, is an amazing show. Um, I remember eagerly watching it since uh, I, I uh, got into it two years ago. I didn't exactly get into it when it first launched. I got into it two years ago. And then recently, the final season concluded a few months ago. It was sad, but now they're working. Jason Rothenberg is yeah. working on a 
prequel series. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. And so that concludes this interview for today. So thank you, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you, Carson, for joining joining me today. Um, yep. For being part of me, our man. exclusive interview with you. Um, so, uh, where can we find you? What are your Twitter details? Where can people who are watching this find you? Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube at Biowater Arts or upright at Uprising Game. I'll be sure to um, send uh, send you guys the uh, socials to include in the description, so you can just click, 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 bang, fo follow us, find us, find me. <laughs> Yeah, you can um, you can follow us at Project X Talk on Twitter and subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, so please, guys, make sure to like this video, um, show some support to Carson and his upcoming game. Um, subscribe to our channel for more content and make sure to join our Discord community where we can, where we um, taking questions from our viewers uh, for our weekly podcast. And that's all we have for you today. See you next week.